this is Saturday night. Yes. Yes. Gorgeous July evening. Beautiful. I've got I'm, I've got a selfie stick, so I'm sorry if it's wobbly. I'm trying my best not to wib not to wibble. There we go. Um, and we are down by the river in the theatre gardens in Stratford on Avon. And we just wanted to record a little bit of an introduction and tell you all about our summer knit tea retreat. 2019. First and second of June, June 2019. And it's going to be amazing. We're having it in Stratford-on-Avon. Yep. And we are up at the moment to sell at the Yarningham Festival. So we took the opportunity to just nip down and do a bit of filming so that we can do a location reveal and show you our Saturday night surprise activity. I can't wait to tell you about that. It's going to be so cool. So yeah, we're just sat by the river. I don't know if you can hear the random guy warbling in the background. <laughs> But we've got yeah. ducks in the background. What else can you see? That, that's the <laughs> rowing club. That's where I got married. Well, the reception. That's where the reception was, yeah. yeah. So we hope you are excited about the retreat and we hope you like the little bits of video that we've shot. Well, we've had a really good reception to it from people at shows that we've seen, haven't we? We have. So it's looking like it could do as well as the Cardiff one. I hope so. We do have slightly fewer places this time round. Yeah. We've only got 42. Two. 42 or 42. 42. So if you're watching this and you are not signed up to the newsletter, please check down below for the links yeah. because you will need to be on the newsletter list because newsletter subscribers get 24 hours advance notice um, and a chance to book a place. Yeah, and uh, for the first Cardiff retreat in October, general public didn't get a look in no. until it went down to waiting places yeah a couple of people on a waiting list managed to get in when there were dropouts but yeah. i wouldn't want to rely on that I'd, I'd say cancellations dropouts makes it sound a bit harsh they did have reasons yes <laughs> <laughs> they weren't just general wasters you know yeah, there, was, a, there was an issue i know it was very sad that yeah. they had to cancel but but there we go yeah so definitely newsletter is a must yeah um so yeah keep watching we'll show you some lovely places and um, we will also record a bit more of the detail when we're back at the house in front of my mantelpiece again. So um, this is just to give you a flavour really, isn't it? Yeah. So you can see how beautiful it is and how much you want to come. So let's tell you about some of the salient details for this second Nitty Retreat. It will be on the 1st and the 2nd of June 2019, which again is a Saturday and a Sunday. And this time it won't be workshop based it is going to be a weekend long knit night. We've decided to hold it in my hometown of Stratford-upon-Avon. I'm sure you've heard of it as the birthplace of Shakespeare and it's a stunning location. So if you've got non-knitting significant others that would like to come along, they certainly find plenty to do. Definitely. It's only about two hours on the train from London and from Cardiff. I think it's about two and a half to Leeds. So it's super easy to get to. And because it's such a tourist town, there is absolutely loads of accommodation all the way from Airbnbs, bed and breakfast, all the way up to four star hotels. And speaking of four star hotels, I think we should be just about coming up to our location. We decided to book this stunning four star hotel, which is the Alveston Manor. And in the previous shots, you saw us walking across the bridge from where we were podcasting to the hotel itself. It's literally five minutes over the bridge. It's so close to town. Tons of parking, as you can see. And it is an absolutely beautiful building. I think the earliest recorded dates regarding this site is from the 10th century. Yes, it was a, it was, um, a monastic settlement yeah. in the 900s. The building, they think, was built somewhere around, well, the first parts, around 1500. And it's been lived in and developed pretty much ever since then, passing between the church in Worcester and private hands until it eventually became a hotel, I think, in the 1940s. Yes, yeah, after it was used for wartime activities. Oh, yes, that's meantime. right. 
I managed to sneak in to show you the inside. Unfortunately, there was a wedding reception going on at the time, so I couldn't get fantastic footage. But I hope you can see the beautiful interior panelling. There's bits of stained glass everywhere. Oh, it's if, just beautiful. And if we go through from reception, this is a little snug area with lots of squishy sofas and a beautiful stone fireplace that dates from the original building. And just through those double doors there is our room that we're going to book. <laughs> Unfortunately, as Zoe said, we couldn't go in because there was an event in there. And um, Zoe was fighting through hordes of people <laughs> to get around the hotel. But we really wanted you to see the inside of it because it really is stunning. It is absolutely stunning. So we'll have the use of the big function room, but there are also these little breakout kutch areas where you can escape for a bit to have a nice cup of tea. And just down the end of this corridor is another room just like that. Um, again, you can see the enormous original fireplaces, beautiful panelling. And although we will be providing refreshments, because it's a hotel, they do have two bars downstairs. So you can always get yourself something a little bit stronger. And I think in a minute it pans around to show some of the beautiful gardens. Oh, the gardens really are stunning. Um, it was very dry when we recorded this, so they do look yellow, but I promise that they're usually green. <laughs> and our um, events room has big French doors that open directly onto the garden, so we'll have use of that as well. Yeah, it's semicircular or hexagonal. It is. On to the Saturday night. Special entertainment. Oh, this is... A little clip of the Countess of Eversham, which is a double wide canal boat come restaurant. So included in the price will be a floating three course meal on the Countess of Eversham. On to the nitty gritty of the details. The price will be £220 per person and over 18s only. We've got 42 places available and we really recommend that you sign up for our newsletter because subscribers get 24 hour advance notice of sign ups and the first opportunity to book. We'll require a £75 deposit within 72 hours of you receiving our PayPal invoice and the balance of £145 will be payable by the 1st of February 2019. This cost includes two days attendance at the beautiful Alveston Manor, teas, coffees and home-baked treats served twice each day and access to the hotel bar. There'll be the usual cakes and biscuits and treats because that's half of the fun. It also includes that evening meal and cruise on the Countess of Eversham although you will have to pay for your own drinks whilst on the boat. You'll receive beautiful goodie bags full of lovely things, door prize tickets and we'll be holding a small tabletop marketplace on the Sunday afternoon and of course you'll have entry to that. So I hope you enjoyed hearing all about the Knit Tea Retreat and make sure you sign up to our newsletter. <laughs>